Okay, this is a quick video of all the stuff I have assembled for sale, or most of it, I think most of it's here. One set of wheels, these are the steel rimmed small wheels. They are 6x12x3. By by work out what that is, I'll actually put a put a tape measure on them. No particularly fancy hubs, just ordinary uh, I haven't cleaned them up. So they're as seen. They could do with a good scrub up. The tires would come up lovely and dark and nice. There's no wear in the tires at all. Um even have yeah they got the pimples on the on the tread. So there's absolutely no wear at all on the tyres and they're not perished. Larger set now. They are um, the ones with the freewheel hubs. By pulling out that thing there. Then that will turn. Okay. Put in the... Put that back in. And... Hey presto, it locks. So they're both the same, they both work. They have been stored, well greased. Once again, the tyres are dirty. Do with a scrub up. Both come with the extension spigots, or whatever you like to call them, with a, a clip in them. Okay, so they are a very nice set. And we go over to finger bar mower. Okay. Now that has been stored well greased. I'm going to cut this so I can actually show you the move. Okay. There is wear in the joint. There's a joint there. Job to see it in the thingy, but there's a, there's a joint there which could do with probably a new bearing in it. Um, there's a grease point there and a grease point up underneath there. All been well stored and greased up for storage. A bit of surface surface rust, but it's only basically that. Easily clean up with a wire brush. There's nothing pitted or anything there. Coat of paint over the other bits, but I'm not into doing it up, so it's sold as, as it is. With this one comes a clutch, a centrifugal clutch. These, I believe, are very hard to get hold of, but it will go with this mower. This is sold with the clutch. Okay, and it's got a belt on it. Belt there, and it fits the Mary Tiller Titan, Mary Tiller Titan. So it's, it's sold as seen here. Over now to the Ridger attachment. Right, Ridger attachment. That's a potato Ridger, not a plow. Some people call it a plow, but it's far from a plow. It will dis dismantle for for postage. It has the toolbar attachment for a fits all the all this stuff fits a Mary Tiller Titan because that's a Mary Tiller I have and will be keeping. Okay, and this is a a hoe attachment. Nice piece of kit. It's fully adjustable. Once again, fits a Titan. It was stored with a very light um, primering. I cleaned up the stuff to a good good level, so it's just basically 
very light wire brushing and a good coat of paint would set that one off. And this here is the weight attachment and extension arm to go with an adjustable reversible plow. Great piece of kit. Sunshine's very strong today. I don't know whether it will show up very well on the video. Well, I've got it down to its fullest extension here. And I'll show you how it works. This moves over like that, and the plow has gone to the other side. And this here, if I can do it one handed, right, that moves to umpteen positions. Difficult to do with one hand, but I'll try it. Totally. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. You can see that goes into whatever slot you want there. So it goes from one side of the of the cultivator to the other. These were, I think they had a galvanized finished finish to them. So it's very, very light, light rusting. Very light indeed. In fact, if you brush, wire brushed it back, a lot of the, I'm sure the galvanizing would appear. It's a lovely piece of kit. Lots of cast on it. That is, that's cast. It's got a nice cast keel there. All adjustable, beautiful. Wish the sun wasn't so bright. I think it shows up, would show up a lot more. Anyway, that's that one. And the last items are another set of wheels. They look very tatty, but they are basically because they want to scrub up. That the rims are alloy, by the look of it, and there's a centre um, steel bit bolted through. They're rather nice. All holding air. Very little work wants doing to bring them up to a really nice pretty condition. And a tyre condition, once again. No, I can't hardly see pimples on them, but as you can see, you know, there's very little wear there. No no pimples on the on the main ridge, but I I don't think there's much in the way of wear. Lovely condition. So that's video. I'll take some still pics of them now.